very rare actually that a, a Scottish performer uh, has done Macbeth and mm. you know it's actually when you hear it when you hear Alan read it it's got a kind of Scottish burr within it hasn't yes. it yes yes um, Shakespeare wrote it to be performed in Scots <laughs> it feels yeah, like yeah. <laughs> but you know it's interesting I've done Hamlet and Romeo and now Macbeth all in my own voice and I think the Scottish accent is you know the sort of the guttural I suppose is a word and, and but the, and it's, it just actually fits really well with Shakespeare it's closer to old English isn't exactly. it? exactly do you know it's funny when I did um, Hamlet in London at the Donmar Warehouse like 75 years ago there was a 74 th <laughs> bless you there was a there was a, cr a critic for the um, Evening Standard who's sadly died um, called Milton Shulman and he and he was this very grand man he used to have a cape and a big hat and a cane and, and come to the you know the theater and, and like sort of Orson Welles or something and it was controversial that I was sounding like myself like as, as a Scottish person playing Hamlet in this kind of um, you know in London and everything and um, he even had a he even had a, a little cartoon I remember the Evening Standard which said you know I had a picture of me with a skull going uh, Oh, alas, poor Yorick, see you, Jimmy. And then swear word, you know, like asterisks and that. It was so racist. It's offensive. Yeah, yeah. actually. Yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah. And, and Milton Showman had said, you know, there should be a, 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 a warning. He loved it, you know, or something, but there should be a, a sign outside saying that people might not be able to understand some of the things because of my thick Scottish accent. How dare you? Anyway, the point is, then this uh, professor bloke, uh, a linguist, a cunning linguist, wrote in and said that actually... It's the Lincoln Centre, Alan, don't oh, go sorry, there. yeah. <laughs> this, 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 this linguist wrote a thing saying that actually my voice w was, would, was actually more um, similar to the voices that people would yeah. be using when Shakespeare did it yeah. in his time because of the way, you know, accents and language has changed over the years and there's a very, very uh, sort of Germanic uh, uh, influence into the English accent and that whole kind of received pronunciation thing is actually very alien and very different yeah. to how people would have sounded when they did the lines yeah. uh, in, in Shakespeare's times. So in a way that makes more sense of yeah. why the language is like that and why it suits um, someone like m my voice.